to the red carpet of the literary world. I'm Melissa Fry, the acquisitions librarian here at Sandwich Public Library. Join me as we take a look at the 2019 and 2020 Biggest Literary Award winners. Today, I'll be giving a little bit of background on these awards and then announce the most recent winners. As always, the titles I mentioned today are available to place on hold online, over the phone, or in person here at the library. Many of these titles are also available as ebooks and e audiobooks through our digital platforms. Make sure to have your library card and PIN number handy. And now, the envelope, please. The National Book Award. Established in 1950, the National Book Award is the American Literary Prize awarded by the nonprofit organization, the National Book Foundation. It celebrates the best writing in America and is awarded in several genre categories. This year's fiction recipient is Trust Exercises by Susan Choi, while this year's non-fiction recipient is The Yellow House by Sarah M. Broom. The Booker Prize. Awarded annually to the best novel of the year, written in English and published in the UK or Ireland. The Booker Prize was awarded to two titles this year. First up, the much anticipated sequel to The Handmaid's Tale, The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. Also winning this honor is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. Here's one I'm sure you've all heard of. The Pulitzer Prize for Fiction is awarded for distinguished fiction published in book form during the year by an American author, preferably dealing with American life. This year's winner is The Overstory by Richard Powers. Presented by the Mystery Writers of America, the Edgar Award honors the best in mystery and crime fiction. This year, Down by the River, Unto the Sea by Walter Mosley was the winner of the Edgar Award for Best Novel. Bearskin by James A. McLaughlin won the award for Best First Novel. The Bram Stoker Award is presented by the Horror Writers Association for Superior Achievement in Horror Writing for Novels. The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay is the current holder of this honor. Kirkus Prize for Fiction. The Kirkus Review is an American book review magazine that was established in 1933. The Kirkus Prize for Fiction was created to celebrate the more than 85 years of thoughtful, discerning criticism that the Kirkus Review has contributed to the publishing industry. This year's winner is Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. The P.E.N. Faulkner Award for Fiction is a national prize that honors the best published work of fiction by a living American citizen. Call Me Zebra by Azarine van der Vliet Olomi is the most recent recipient of this award. Some of the most recognized awards in the literary world are those awarded to children's literature. The announcement of the Newbery and Caldecott medals are much anticipated, and not just by our children's librarians. The Caldecott Medal is given to the most distinguished picture book for children. This year's winner is The Undefeated, written by Kwame Alexander and illustrated by Kadir Nelson. The Newbery Medal is given for the most outstanding contribution to children's literature. This year's winner is New Kid by Jerry Craft. This graphic novel is also the recipient of the Kirkus Prize for Young Readers Literature and is one of the Massachusetts Children's Book Award nominees for 2020. The Theodore Seuss Geisel Award celebrates the most distinguished American book for beginning readers. This year's winner is Stop Bought by James Yang. The Michael L. Prince Award celebrates the best book written for teens and is based entirely on its literary merit. Dig by A.S. King was this year's recipient. In addition to these wonderful literary award winners, we also have the Entertainment Industries Award winners available here at the library. These titles are usually very popular and I highly recommend putting your name on the hold list if you'd like to see them. Taking home the Emmy and Golden Globe for Best Television Series Comedy is Fleabag. Oh my God, definitely not. That does nothing for you. What? These are my clothes, boo. I've been wearing these all day. It's really not that bad. It's really oh, what are you sorry. I don't know you. You got them all by the balls, causing waterfalls. I didn't beat you. She used to be our godmother. But then their parents split up. Mum died. You really are very good looking. Thank you. 
Very. Thank you. Very. Thank you. It's been really nice to spend the day with a normal family. The only thing harder than having to tell your super high-powered, perfect, anorexic, rich super sister that you've run out of money is having to ask her to bail you out. I'm just going to ask her. I'm just going to come. Do you need to borrow money? No. The boys want to be her. <laughs> You don't like other girls. You can keep up. I should ask you if you want to go out for a drink with me. And I'll be sure to treat you like a nasty little <laughs> bitch. Um, that was a joke. Oh, no, Sorry. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> okay. That was like, oh. okay. I want to be her. So do you. Taking home the Emmy for Best Dramatic Television Series is Game of Thrones. Everything you did brought you where you are now. Where you belong. Home. They're coming. Our enemy doesn't tire, doesn't stop, doesn't feel. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. The Golden Globe for Best Dramatic Television Series went to succession. We have a major problem. He's erratic, he's making bad decisions. If he's not careful, he's gonna destroy the company. Emily, you gonna do something? I think I'm the best option. Oh right, because you like playing boss? This is my vision. I take over, you two, under me. Under you. Can we think about it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I thought about it. You. This family's broken, and that has consequences. Kick out the old man, in with the new guard. Where have you been? I was meeting about a prospective job. With your father's enemy? Disagreeing with dad is not treason. You want this enough to go to war with your family. It's rebellion. Sabotage. Deliberate attempt to undermine my whole business. That's the death pit. Take a look. I feel like I might not like it in the death pit. Stock's gone below 130. We could death spiral here. Who's in charge right now? You are a f nobody. The Golden Globe for Best Picture and the BAFTA Award for Best Film goes to 1917, directed by Sam Mendes. There's only one way this ends. Last man standing. I'm going back to see my father. We need to keep moving! Come on! I'm going back. He can't possibly make it that way, man. You bloody insane! Why in God's name did you have to choose me? Stay, please. No, no, no! If you don't get there in time, we will lose 1,600 men. Your brother among them. Good luck.
This movie will be released on March 24th. Taking home this year's Oscar for Best Motion Picture is Parasite, directed by Jun Ho Bong. Oh, As a reminder, all of these titles are available through the Sandwich Public Library. Many of them are also available in large print or as audiobooks. They can easily be put on hold online, over the phone, or in person. For those of you interested in downloading your books, the library offers two free platforms, Overdrive and Hoopla, where you can find these titles as ebooks and e audiobooks. Thank you so much for joining me today as we walked the red carpet library style.